Tired of AI voices spamming your phone? The FCC is on a mission to put an end to it. Dive into the details as we explore the FCC's push to make AI-generated voice robocalls a thing of the past. In our story, the FCC wants to make robocalls that use AI-generated voices illegal, written by Mariella Moon for Engadget. The FCC presented measures to address the threats posed by AI-generated voice cloning and robocalls, stating that by regulating such calls, authorities can better shield the public from scams. Led by Chairwoman Jessica Rosenworcel, the commission aims to classify such calls as artificial, making them illegal under existing regulations like the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. The initiative seeks to protect consumers from scams and fraud through voice cloning technology. Recent incidents, including a call from impersonating President Joe Biden, highlight the immediate need to address the issue. A security analysis found that AI tools were used for the call, raising concerns about how this technology may impact processes like the U.S. elections. Tony, have you started receiving any of these calls yet with the Joe Biden or whomever else that you've kind of got the spidey senses that were AI? I've Oh, listen, this is terrifying. So so now just because we have deep fakes and I'm like, okay, it's a deep fake, you know, it's on some obscure website, but hold on, someone's calling me. Wait, Joe Rogan is calling me and saying what? Joe, uh, you know, Barack Obama, now we got Biden over here. You got Biden, hold on, hold on, hold on, Biden. Hold on, my other line. Uh, Trump, that's you. Wait, hold on, I got Biden on the other line. This is terrifying. Um, and you're saying that this is okay? Right. I mean, yeah, no, it's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it. No, it just it, you. I know we covered it in like one of the morning and one of the banters or openings um, a long time ago, but we covered a story with like Alexa talking to Google and they just are Siri and they just started back and forth and had their own conversation at that point. Like if we I would totally love epic rap battles, AI edition for Biden versus Trump. We're not getting into who we support or whatever. That's not the point. I just want to see a good old fashioned showdown. It doesn't matter. Like that is that is chef's kiss of the technology. Let's let's this is the evolution of technology. But but in all seriousness, let's think about the implications that this this could have on and not necessarily the uneducated, uh, but mostly the uninitiated, which is literally everyone at some point and the uh the percentage of impact and and uh where that could actually redirect uh or redefine an agenda uh that is that is um very concerning i'm wondering is there a way around that and what are the implications legally you have the uh ftc background talk to us how would you control this i think it boils down to yes ai gets wrapped up right now because that's the term du jour and i i completely get it I think it falls back to deceptive business practices. There are standards that exist today. Does this need a new law? Does this need something when we already have, this is not the Computer Fraud Act or any of those that were designed in the 1980s that have zero bearing on today, right? The Deceptive Businesses Act absolutely is more more direct, more structured. And I think this falls under that. I don't see a point where now we want to amend it and add you know, stuff like, um, you know, automated methods or to anything that uh, appears to be someone else uh, imitating their personage or their voice or whatever it happens to be. Um, Yes, these are new issues, but the base protection already exists. I don't think we should reinvent the wheel. I think this is a, an evolution, not a revolution. You get what I'm saying? I, I, I I hear what you're saying, but I feel like you're implying that leadership has an impact on this and moral ambiguity could have an impact on this and um moral ambiguity doesn't exist how would you how why would you suggest something like that <laughs> you can't even hold a straight face Everybody i love when i say something mine. there's no ambiguity <laughs> here <It's- laughs> uh, this this is terrifying ai is coming out um with uh you know you have image generation uh image regeneration which is you know existing uh, and moving into videos you have voice calls you now have the automation of all of the above and i'm wondering when that combination is going to occur that is going to make it very difficult to distinguish um what is real in any 
possible um, uh, confirmation process that you try to implement. You have the control mechanisms in place, but they will fly right through them because every single one of these angles is addressed by AI. Um, any any closing thoughts on this one, Ray? Because my brain is... Uh, yeah. No, and as always, we want to hear from the folks in the audience in the chat and MMN Discord. Um, but I'll leave it with this. My personal thought these protections exist already. I am not allowed to use someone's personage or someone's image if I don't have the rights to do so. We have forms for those releases. So if you have somebody impersonating somebody they don't have the rights to, those laws exist right now. And I think we're missing the opportunity to apply them. Is that what you had uh, me sign, that form? I didn't, now I understand. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this story eye-opening, catch MSP Dispatch every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern for more in-depth news coverage. Share your thoughts below and remember to hit that subscribe button. See you next time. This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.